All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Fab Town. Today we have something completely different. Uh, we have this Bronco here, and it needs that winch installed. Now I have to get this done because the guy's been waiting for it for a long time, and I've been procrastinating, so I just want to get it done. Then I can get Brennan's bug done. Then I can finish the death car and so on and so forth. Um, the garage situation is working out really well. Uh, the fireplace is mint, or as I like to call it, creamy. Yeah, those stickers are coming, by the way. Um, it keeps it really nice and warm in here. I'm actually, it's not even on right now, but I'm in t-shirt weather today, so that's cool. Once we get this squared away and get this winch installed, we're going to get the bumper on it and then get it back to the guy, get paid, and move on to the next thing. All right, so here's a little spiel on this thing. This Bronco has these bumper mounts right here, and we're going to try and figure out a way to retrofit some side mounts for this winch. Now, this winch is way, way gigantic for the application. It's a 15K winch. And the bracket that it came on is this gnarly quarter inch thick, uh, you know, press broke bracket, I guess. And it is, it's gnarly. Um, I don't have a whole lot of stuff that thick because I don't usually do super heavy duty stuff like this. Um, not that we can't do it, we're gonna get it done. But we're gonna be running some, I think it's 3 16 plate. It's pretty good thickness. We're gonna beef it up though and gusset the shit out of it. So hopefully it's up to the task. I can't imagine he'd actually be able to put 15K a load on these two frame rails, but we'll give it hell. Right now we got this thing drawn up and I just got some holes marked so that um, we can go ahead and get just the basic brackets drilled to get the winch mounted uh, with the hardware that was already on it. And then we're gonna use the jack and jack it up there and kind of build off that. I may end up making some of these brackets weld on and I don't know how he's gonna feel about that. But yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't really make it's 15K strength worthy with just bolts. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, we got the holes all drilled. Got those all squared away. On to the next part. We gotta get this uh, winch mocked up on the bumper and go from there. All right, so we definitely wanna get the winch positioned on the jack and up next to the truck before we progress any further. And don't want to guess on any of this stuff, just want it to fit first time. All right, so one thing I was just looking at was that these bolt holes on the actual um, winch looked a little different than the holes that I thought were the mounting holes, these holes. And they totally were. So I went ahead and re-drilled them again for those two inner holes right there, two inner sets of holes. And 
The hardware supplied is a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and cut down the spacers I had in the magical bolt bin and uh, use those as like offsets for this hardware because I don't want to go get like new hardware. It's really hard to do that through the camera. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down and then, yeah, bolt that plate to the winch and then jack it up. Okay, we got this set up and you can see the holes are slightly over drilled. Sorry for the lighting, but they actually line up indexed perfectly. So that's good. Take our little spacers here. Probably still pretty hot. Okay, got these all lined up. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the machined end, as you can see right there, versus the end that I cut, jagged end, and I'm putting the jagged end down. And what that's allowing me to do it's kind of cheat a little bit because what I'm I'm gonna put the bolt in and then I'm gonna tighten it down and uh, weld those spacers on. All right, guys, so we got this all welded up. It's looking pretty good. Smoked them in there pretty hot. Not bad. Um, got that, what is that, two and a half inch 
square stock welded to the bottom of it so that'll be fine give it some rigidity across the the uh from left to right only did uh, a six inch on either end and then probably eight in the center There's no reason to weld it all the way out it's gonna it's gonna do the job either way all right guys that's gonna be the end for today's video part one of build the Bronco 15k overbuilt winch bumper build uh, tomorrow I'll get some more shots of it and hopefully finish it up. You guys have a great night. I'll see you soon.